This video is for my lovely and talented and wonderful mother-in-law, Dawn, who just asked me, uh, what is in a bug out bag? I need a bug out bag. So, positive effect we're having on people. Uh, for real though, Dawn's super awesome, and I wouldn't say that uh, if she wasn't. She lives like a bajillion states away, so I'm not incredibly worried about kiss, uh, kissing her ass, but she is super cool and has been super good to us. So, in light of that, I figured I'd take a few minutes out of my day and do a video for her. Um, and hopefully the rest of y'all can benefit from this. So the question is, what is in a bug out bag? And uh, the basics is a good bag. And then the five C's of survival, cutting tool, combustion, cordage, container, cover. Cutting tool, combustion, cordage, container, cover. And uh, then a few other things like calories, compass, combat. There are, the expanded is the 10 C's. Um, I don't remember what all 10 of them are, but the five C's are the basics. So the important thing to understand, I believe, is that a bug out bag is part of a system. Uh, it can function as a standalone system, but if you do that, you're going to end up taking more weight. So the bug out bag is what's on your back while you're moving. You should also already have your EDC on you, which is hopefully a pistol and a spare magazine, which is your secondary weapon, primary depending on who you are, a knife, fixed blade, or folder, whatever, maybe a single cell flashlight, and uh, you know, chapstick, bic lighter, whatever, all right, but your EDC, your bug out bag or rucksack, and then I also run a chest, chest rig and a long gun, so, the chest rig allows me to move weight from my back to my chest. It lightens the load on my back a little bit, redistributes the load a little bit. And uh, so I'm not just going to show you the bug out bag. I'm also going to show you the chest rig because uh, there are components of the system that are contained within the chest rig. So I'm going to flip this around and show you what I'm working with. Be advised we are working on the tailgate of the truck pointed towards a residential street in North Texas where the people now are so, um, soy boy that they'll probably call the cops on me sooner or later. So uh, the long gun is going to stay out of sight. Not necessary. Just imagine a long gun and, uh, certain other things are not necessarily going to be full frontal view because this town is not what it used to be. So let me spin this around. I'll show you what we're working with. All right, chest rig, pack, tarp. This is the cover portion. This is a 10 by 12 rolled tarp, it's rolled up. If this was winter, there would be a wool blanket stuck in here. Your cover is going to be whatever it is that's going to be in between you and the elements so you can uh you know that could be a, a a sleeping pad here and a tarp folded up inside of here and a wool blanket uh, it could be a tent and a sleeping bag it could be a poncho and a poncho liner there's options here but i run a 10 by 12 tarp it is heavy but it's heavy duty it has never failed me I've pre-tied paracord onto it, and then I've got this just put through here, held onto the bottom of the bag. So, cover is this, and then in here, by the way, we've talked about this, you should be intertwining your toggles so they don't accidentally come open. Um, stand by. accidentally or on purpose come open so in here is clothing you'll see it's in a clear plastic bag uh, you could get fancy and put this in a dry sack you do whatever you got to do there are four pairs of socks in here two pairs of man panties one long sleeve cotton shirt 
and one pair of ripstop nylon pants, uh, cargo pocket pants. They are not BDUs, they're Carhartt brand. But this is my, my distance that I'm traveling is about 200 miles. So in addition to what I'm wearing, I have this as well. And this is all lighter weight clothing because it is now, thank God, springtime. So this is a nine, 10 month system. Okay, so that's cover. We'll get to this in a minute, okay? So you have cover, cutting tool, right there, okay? This is self-explanatory cutting tool. This would also be part of the combat equation, but the point is you want a good fixed blade knife um, for batoning firewood or gutting a tiger after it attacks you or I don't know whatever whittling fuzz sticks <sighs> you'll get the point the bag by the way this is the condor 72 hour bag it's a good bag um, I'm hesitant to recommend it not because it isn't a good bad bag it's an excellent bag but it's large and uh, frankly, I can put more weight in here than I should carry. And so if I can put more weight in here than I should carry, that means that you guys are gonna put more weight in here than you should carry. And the problem with that is, y'all buy bags, we all, you're gonna buy a bag and you're gonna fill this thing to the brim. That's a problem. You're gonna take more weight than you should carry. Your pack should be no more than 20% of your body weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds, it's a 40% or 40 pound pack. By 150 pounds, it's a 30 pound pack. Okay, that's in part why we run the chest rig here because that moves weight from here on my back to here, shoulders. Okay, and this is counterbalance. This is on the front of my body, this is on the back of my body. So, cutting tool. Okay, in addition to this sucker here, my EDC, as y'all know, is an Ontario company, Rat 3. All right, I also have a multi-tool here uh the gerber something whose name escapes me at the moment but uh, that's a it has an extremely sharp knife on it okay and then the artac 2 which is for processing firewood um, and making shelters and whatever i need it to be for it's a large knife that's this is my compromise instead of an axe and a bow saw, I have this because this is a pound and a half and axe is three, three and a half pounds. I also, as part of my medical, have shears, okay? So cover, cutting tool, combustion. We'll come, yeah, I think it's over here. Can he do it? Not with his left hand, not with that 40% nerve damage. Can he do it right-handed? He can do it right-handed, oh yeah. So I guess one of the five C's or 10 C's should be cooties, carry butt wipe, okay? Combustion. Here is a fire kit, okay? It's in this little waterproof Plano box. They sell these at Walmart. I got this one at Tractor Supply on clearance for I think $3. So we'll pop that open. And it has matches in it. Uh, there's some Bic lighter action, little strikey pad. These are T lights. They work good for getting a fire going. If uh, you have some damp wood or whatever, they help. This is napalm in a sack. And this is greased paper towel, okay? And you can put dryer lint or whatever you want to put in there, you can put in there. Uh, but this is your fire making, and I like having it in this waterproof box because you ought to know by now it's hard to make a fire when things are wet so that stays on the side pocket over here uh, so that I can get at it where I need it as does this butt wipe for the same reason I anticipate needing that fairly often which is why it's fairly accessible and uh, headlamp is self-explanatory it does work so, uh, headlamp is so that you can see at night for obvious reasons. So, 
cutting tool, cover, combustion, cordage. In here, we have paracord. In here, we have cordage and more cordage. And in here, we have, this is kind of the cordage aspect, but we have a fishing kit, all right? And safety pins, these are good to have. Uh, and then also several little spools of thread in uh, subdued Super Recon Ranger Seal Marine Corps Spaceship Door Gunner colors. And uh, there are needles down in here as well. So we have fishing kit, sewing kit, all kind of self-contained in this Plano box. These Plano boxes are like, they're super cheap. You can get these at uh, China Mart or uh, Tractor Supply or um, Academy or don't go to Dick's, they suck. All right, so there's your cordage. There's string type things in here, cord here and cord in here. So there's about a couple hundred foot of paracord, maybe more. There's also another Bic lighter in here, more napalm in a sack, and another Bic lighter in here. And in this whistle that uh, my boy kid got me, I have it mostly, this is fairly sentimental and not so much functionality, but it is a whistle in case a bear tries to rape me. It does have a little compass on the end, and it is filled with matches. These are prescription meds. I have these because uh, I will not die without them, but they definitely increase my quality of life. So, cutting tool, combustion, cordage, cover, container. Container. Two one liter smart water bottles. Also, more wipes for keeping your booty hole clean. And, uh, so two one liter smart water bottles. Oh, back from the walk. Uh, there is a hydration bladder back here, two and a half liter. And um, in the side pouch on this side is a one liter cup and a or I'm sorry, one liter bottle and a cup. So, container as well. All right, so some of the other things to consider, uh, cutting tool, combustion, cordage, container, and cutting tool, combustion, cordage, container. Okay, brain, I don't know. It's in there somewhere. It's all these nice people walking around looking at me as if I'm a weirdo, which is fine. We're moving anyway. So, other things that I carry, first aid. This is a blowout kit here. This is a boo-boo kit here. This boo-boo kit uh, has in here some band-aids. These are, um, oh, that's back when I used to, I should already check that. Back when I used to be addicted to nicotine, which I am no longer, but something to think about for y'all that are. And uh, mosquito wipes. And let's see, what else? What else? Those are in there, band aids. There is moleskin in here for blisters. And, oh, combustion was the other C. Thank you, Brain. So you have moleskin. All right, and uh, this is um, OTC allergy meds, more band-aids, a little uh, paper for, you know, when needed, Q-tips, and chapstick for supple lips, and more little boo-boo stuff, right? This is just a generic first aid boo-boo kit, okay? So... This is uh, for treating gunshot wounds predominantly. Gunshot stab wounds, arterial bleeds, things of that nature. Serious, uh, serious injuries. So, 
what's in here is, you know, obviously shears on the outside. Then in here we have a nasal pharyngeal airway, an Israeli battle dressing, a cat tourniquet, uh, which is pretty strong, ready to roll. And uh, we have nitro gloves, no hurt tape, rolled gauze, uh, a little bit of duct tape for in place of uh, high fin chest seals. There's two by twos and four by fours, some tampons in here, which is something for you females you may want to consider, um, you know, hygienic pads or whatever. And uh, then some quick clot right there. And uh, I think this is triangular bandage. Yeah, triangular bandage. So that's the blowout kit and that's for um, arterial bleeds, gunshot wounds, you know, so basically uh, we won't get into applying first aid right now, but this is the serious stuff. This is the less serious stuff and there's a backup to this. There's more of this in here. Two is one, one is none. So, and the cool thing is it's finally warm enough for chiggers. So my legs are getting attacked right now while standing in my own driveway. Yay, Texas. Good stuff. So we'll close that up. Uh, one of the definite C's of survival is cocktails. So make sure to have one of these. Mm -hmm. And uh, I carry gloves both here and here. Two is one, one is none. You do not want to jack your hands up. Also in here are some uh, field strip crackers, a knife sharpener, uh, random paracord, iodine tabs, which you should have for water treatment. I'm glad I remembered that, water treatment. So you have these iodine tabs, one is to purify the water, one is to take away the iodine taste. So I pack a pair of these per week that I imagine I'm going to be on the road. Each one of these does 25 liters. So that's about three and a half liters a day, which is enough. It's not uh, ideal if you're really hoofing it, but it's enough. Toothbrush, and believe me, there is toothpaste in here, okay? And then also, getting on the water is the iodine and then the Sawyer Mini. This kit is like 20 bucks on Amazon. It comes with this pouch, this straw, this filter, this backwash syringe, and then I bought this pouch for like another five bucks and a piece of cheesecloth for filtering out really large items, okay? Highly recommended. Do not buy a life straw, buy the Sawyer Mini. It's like a 20 some dollar investment. Well worth it, way better than the life straw. Okay, now, combat. One of my C's. I carry six mags. One, two, three, four, five, six magazines for my primary weapon, which is an AR platform in 556. I also have strapped to the outside of this bag uh, two more magazines for the Glock, carrying 185 grain plus P jacketed hollow points. And that is to augment my EDC. Okay, so six mags plus one in the gun, two mags plus one spare in the EDC plus one in the gun. So a total of four mags, a total of seven mags. That's the combat aspect. In re that, I carry a set of rods. To go with those rods, this is a cleaning kit, which is an oily rag, three in one oil, patches, solvent, and brushes. Yes, you don't want to have a malfunction. We talked about this guy already. This is a toboggan cap, and in this toboggan cap are five cans of fake snuff. Yes, they suck. Okay, calories. Oh, super glue for when your gear breaks or you get a bad cut that needs stitches and you don't want to stitch it. This is, uh, these are like water additive juice packet things to change up your water. And these are instant coffee. And uh, I am unashamed. We have black and hazelnut. 
keep things interesting. There are, in this pack, moving on to calories, one, two, three, four MREs, okay? So that's two days if uh, I'm really hurting, four days if I'm not, and then 14,000 calories between these two things right here of peanut butter, 7,000 calories each. Fishing line to go with the fishing kit. Pampers to go with the clean booty hole, as we spoke about earlier. And then this sack right here that says first aid on it has first aid in it. It also has a little bit of everything else. That's where my spare batteries are. I have a pair of uh, toenail clippers and fingernail clippers in there. A good pair of tweezers is in there. I have snare wire in there. I have... What else is in there, boy? Yeah, I don't know either. I don't remember. I have all kinds of the stuff is in there. Um, it's my junk drawer for my pack. Uh, but it's mostly first aid resupply and spare batteries and tooling, you know, tweezers, uh, snare wire, trip wire, things of that nature. Is all, all my miscellaneous stuff is in here. And then... I feel like I'm forgetting something, but uh, so be it. I'm sure y'all will let me know what I'm missing, what I'm forgetting. So that's that's where we're at. The calories, we talked about calories. We talked about water filtration. We talked about cutting tools. We talked about cordage and paracord. We talked about first aid. We talked about combat. We talked about... Uh, our water bottles in there as part of our system. We talked about our first, our uh, fire kit rather. Whoop. Jeez, I dropped this thing on the ground. This is how you make internet magic right here. Oh, those are my tea bags that are in a Ziploc right there. Uh, yeah, in before all the tea bag jokes. We talked about that. We talked about this, and now my children are acting uh, like children, so I should probably go address that. Water bottle and cup are in here. Oh, that's what we missed was compass. Okay, in here, in here is a lensatic compass, and I keep maps folded up inside a heavy-duty quart Ziploc inside of here, so that during my chest pouch that I can easily access them. In here, I keep a map compass. Okay, and these are both tied off so I don't lose them. And this is for reading maps. This is for shooting headings. And then I have in here, I have a couple of uh, light sticks. I have some cotton balls. I have some ear protection. I have more paracord. I have... Uh, granola bars this is a general purchase uh, purpose pouch a sustainment pouch that just basically rides with me that it's like my junk drawer of my chest rig so whatever I need to get my hands on ASAP is right here so move your dang hands off my tailgate girl run away be afraid where's the where's the tyrant the tyrant Okay, so now that I must return to my dad duties, <laughs> I said duty. Um, cutting tool, check. Combustion, check. Cordage, check. Container, check. Cover, check. Compass, check. Combat, check. Calories, check. First aid, check. Cocktails, check. All right, uh, so anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the video, Dawn. This is for Grandma, did you know that? Yeah, it's for Grandma. Yeah, she's a super secret Marine Recon Ranger SEAL Team Sniper 6 uh, CIA operative. Oh, you're right, you're right. I sh if she's super secret, I shouldn't have said that. Sorry, your cover's blown. It's all blown.